What's up guys, this is Skytech Freak and today for you I have the video review of Lineage OS 14.1 on the Motorola Moto X Style or the Moto X Pure. Um, so let's first of all just jump into settings and show you that we are in fact running uh, Lineage OS which is, 14, which is Android version 7.1.2 so you just uh, look into that nougat easter egg and let me also show you that we are running lineage os so we can look at that lineage os easter egg um let's go up to lineage os updates and uh, guys this is not the official version of lineage os available for this device even though there is an official stream of lineage os available for the moto x pure or the moto x style and the reason for that is um if you updated your phone to Motorola's version of the Android ROM of 7.1 so if you updated your phone officially to 7.1 through the OTA that Motorola pushed out what that did was it completely reconfigured the modems and updated them and therefore um, your phone is no longer compatible with ROMs that are designed for the old modem and therefore if you try to flash the old lineage OS your custom recovery probably won't let you do it and even if it does um, and you manage to even boot up nothing like the Wi-Fi or the, uh, or the phone signals like the SIM etc just they just won't work at all uh, and that's why there are alternate ROMs like this like this version of Lineage OS which is unofficial and the last build of it was 13th May 2018 uh, so these are ROMs that are compatible with the new modem instead and there's a list of those ROMs I'll link that in the description below uh, but basically yeah there is also a way to downgrade if you updated it uh, if you updated your phone to 7.1 there is a way to downgrade it so that you can then be compatible with older roms but that's an extremely problematic and complicated process i tried to do it and i ended up completely breaking my phone the phone's display just wouldn't even come on so i couldn't even go into recovery or something like that i finally had to uh, make a force boot SD card and push it into the device just to make it boot every time and uh, I was able to do that because of uh, some guys at XDA that had devised this method and had had the same problem so like I'm saying there's a very strong chance you'll break your phone if you try to do something like downgrade it so that you are compatible with the old modems I would suggest if you have taken that OTA update to 7.1 just look at ROMs uh, that are uh, compatible with the new modem anyways guys uh, so as far as performance of this ROM is concerned, uh, it's completely stable, everything works like Wi-Fi, calling, I haven't put my SIM in there yet, but calling and texting and everything works, Bluetooth works just fine, uh, the dual speakers on the device sound great as usual, uh, the camera works and generally it's Lineage OS so it tends to stick really close to stock Android, there aren't really many additions, but the few additions they make are uh, quite helpful actually. So like you can see down here, gestures is one of them. So if you double tap the status bar, it actually puts the phone to sleep. So we can just do that. And then just give me a second to unlock my phone. Um, also, double tapping the power button launches the camera from any screen. So you can take a good look at Freezer from here. Uh, so that's, that's a really helpful feature because wherever you are if you just want to get a quick picture you just double tap that camera and it's up and going the camera app works well it takes good shots from the Motorola's uh, 20 megapixel camera that they have in this phone uh, apart from that there's things like live display which basically reduce the white light uh, and give the display warmer tones during the night so you can more easily sleep and it doesn't hurt your eyes it's a health thing that um, tends to be in a lot of phones these days uh, other than that uh, there's also gestures, which is different, it seems, from the normal gestures. Um, and these are like really advanced ones where you can have certain actions and open the camera by twisting your phone or double chopping your phone. And these are things that uh, were there in Motorola phones for, for a while now. There's also buttons, which lets you uh, change how this navigation bar basically works and also gives you functionality for the power and volume buttons um, apart from that another really cool feature that this has is ambient display so um, basically what that is is every time you get a notification since it's an LCD display um, 
you can't have an always on display on it because that would cost too much battery but every time you get a notification the phone sort of comes on and another thing that you can do with the phone is if you just wave over the phone it unlocks that ambient display so if you saw that right now where you just wave over the phone i'm not getting it right now uh, there we go so you just got to wave it over the ambient sensors which are here i was sort of waving it under those uh it launches that ambient display then if you hit um if you hit the screen it sort of opens up uh the main the main display so uh, apart from that you can also root this rom because it is just like a rom uh i have i tend to use magis which is systemless root because i think it's more elegant for these devices and helps you pass things like safety check uh so that's all for the overview of the rom uh let me just reboot into recovery and show you guys uh and show you guys how to install this rom uh, if you guys missed my video on how to unlock the bootloader on motorola devices uh, i'll put a link for that in the description below but as you guys know to reboot into recovery first you want to do is you want to hold the power button and the volume down button as the phone uh, as the phone is off to turn it on you want to hold the power down button as, uh, the volume down button as well then you want to select uh not restart bootloader you want to select recovery mode and hit the power button on your moto x play which should launch you first it's going to show you bootloader unlock which is uh again part of that tutorial that i was talking about which will be in the link in the description below uh that video also shows you how to flash a custom recovery like this like twrp on your moto uh moto x uh, style or pure um so to install these ROMs what you want to do is first you want to wipe it uh, you don't want to go into advanced wipe or anything you just want to go straight from the main menu to wipe and you just want to swipe across here once you've wiped all that you want to then go into install on the main menu and there's basically just three uh, main applications you uh, sorry three main zip files that will all be in the description below downloads for them will all be in the description below that you want to flash um, the first will be lineage OS 14.1 um, once you flash that, the next one you want to do sequentially is OpenG Apps ARM64 7.1. So it's important that these are the G apps you download. Uh, G apps tend to be they basically allow you to access things like the Play Store and give you Google uh, services. So without those, you don't actually have access to the Play Store and therefore don't have access to some of the major applications like YouTube and Gmail and things like that. So after you install Lineage, the next thing you want to do is you want to install OpenG Apps. Uh, you want to install OpenG Apps 64 because that's the type of processor that this phone has. And you want to inst uh, install G Apps for 7.1 because that's the version of Android you'll be using through this Lineage. And uh, there's a bunch of different size packages. I tend to use Micro because I think it gives us a lot of the main um, Google applications uh, that are necessary to run the phone without giving us any of the Google bloatware but you can decide uh, which uh, which package with how many Google apps you want and then lastly Magisk if you want to root your phone uh, I think it's a good idea to do that because a lot of the Magisk modules are really cool as well so the way you want to go is lineage 14.1 you flash that then open G apps you flash that and then Magisk so, uh, Magis 16.7. This is 16.7, which is the beta version. There's also 16.0, which is the stable version. That's a preference uh, that I tend to use the beta version, but you can just as e just as easily use 16.0, uh, which is the stable version. Uh, every time you flash this, you don't need to reboot your device. So once you flash the ROM, just go back and uh, then flash the next zip. So there's only three zips, so you flash them one by one. Lineage, G apps, and then Magisk, and then reboot your device. If you uh, there's no need for you to reboot your device after flashing each of the zips separately uh, that probably wouldn't work out too well so just go and after you've done all that you should reboot into um, lineage os 14.1 now there are other roms like i said that are uh, compatible with this um, new boredom version and there's also lineage os 15.1 which is android 8.1 but that's not a stable version at all uh, but of course this isn't my daily driver this Motorola phone isn't my daily driver so if you guys are keen on watching a video on uh, Lineage OS 15.1 on the Moto X style or the Moto X Pure uh, just drop a comment in the comments below and uh, I'll definitely install that on this phone and we can go through that and do a review of that as well 
uh otherwise guys i hope you liked the video uh if you liked it give me a like and consider subscribing thank you